Welcome back folks, this is part two of the helicopter build set number 9396 it was released in 2012, and age group is six, uh, 10 to 16 pretty advanced build for a Technic set uh, number of parts is 1056 price per piece is 7 pence per piece which is really really good price uh, Cost brand new in 2012, it was 69.99, so almost 70 pounds. Uh, right now, if you had a mint box sealed set, you were looking at 189 pounds, so not too bad of investment. Used, it would be from 63 pounds to 83, uh, 85 pounds. If you had a decent, uh, decent set with instructions and the bricks, everything was in good condition. How are we doing folks? Sean from Brita Bricks, we're back. We're second part, we're on book two. No idea what we're going to be building yet. So I haven't looked at it because I want to, you know, keep the, keep the surprise. As you can see, this is what we got so far and it is pretty big. So let's, let's crack on and open the book all right so no clue on what we're building but it does start off with a gear turntable so if we can find a gear turntable there it is there we go turntable there two pieces very similar on each side would be two parts and you can see the gear teeth around the edge there. Like I said, no idea what this is going to be for. We'll find out. Two blue pins are going to go through the top here. Push them all the way through. Like so. And then we've got uh, a black. So this piece here black or it's a dark blue dark bluish gray it's definitely a dark bluish gray size and it does look like a dark bluish gray so I'm gonna go with dark bluish gray so one two three four holes in this is going to be put in there so one two three four holes one two three four so it's dead center um, then we got two more blue pins long blue pins pins are going to go in either side but one hole from the side so one in there one in there like so and then we've got this really long ET looking thing it's not a very it does look like an alien face to me could be Beaker from the Muppets there's two of these so we do have the second one there right and these are gonna go on the ends of these pins here and the holes are going to be facing up and they are going to be wait a minute these are the wrong ones those are the wrong ones we've got some extra extra long ones somewhere these, <laughs> these are the wrong parts because there's supposed to be some uh, axle holes in in the ends of them yeah there they are one one two 
here we go got it right so these are going to go in through the middle hole like so and the holes on these are facing up like that and so then we got a, a three axle we've got two of those and those are going to go into the axle holes of those pieces that we just popped in like that there we go that looks like that and then we've got another dark bluish gray to put over the other side same size quite a few pins to line up and actually that went pretty well that actually went pretty well right so that's that pretty solid turn it over and two more blue pins are going to go in here like so and then we've got a light bluish gray five Uh, three black pins there's two three and a five by three light bluish gray times two right so that's that and this is going to have three pins in it so one in the center one next to that next to that turn it that way and these guys are going to be off like that. So it's this. Then there's going to sit on the blue connectors like that. And they're just going to spin freely. Now then, next part, we put this aside. Next part is a connector. One of these. And long blue pin. Long blue pin's gonna go straight through the hole in the middle. Like that, forming a cross. And then we've got two light gray uh, three hole bars so there's one and three hole bars part five looks like the American traffic light <laughs> Is that what it's going to look like? Oh, gotta have, gotta have another gray five somewhere, right? Got to. Where are you? Oh, gray three. Sorry. Or did I not get enough? Because this does look like not so many bits now. I like it's under the keyboard. Nope, it's not under the keyboard. Okay, so. I have to put my microphone up a little bit more. Head back net. Yeah, it looks like I may have miscounted that. Not to worry. Let's have a look and see if it's in the bundle here. What do we have? We have a five. Don't want a five.
There's a three, but it's a white. I don't want a white. Okay. Doesn't look like he has one in there. Not to worry. 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 It's all about prepared. Right. Need one. Uh, right. So from what I can see on the manual, uh, from here, that's what it looks like. Well, this. This here, yeah. It, it yeah, it does kind of it does kind of resemble it, doesn't it? But it lo this looks like it's going to be the rotor. That's that's my thing. It, I think it's going to be the rotor. Okay, so these are going to sit on the end of this. Where did the other three go? Oh no, there it is. Like that. That's what, it, this could be like the heavy duty rotor. So four black pins. So there's two. Four. And these are gonna go in the bottom here. It's a pretty flimsy thing at the moment. Agree, very much so. It's certainly looking like a rotor, yeah. There's got to be a pretty sturdy rotor because, like I say, the, the blades are pretty big. They are pretty big. Now then, we've got a four with a stopper. That will work. And then we've got a connector, which I have to move these over again. And it's one of these. This is going to go through and then through this axle here. Is this gonna go all the way down? It does not go all the way down, right. It goes as far as that. And then we have, so we got this so far, and then we have black T-bar, and the T-bar is gonna go on one side of those pins. So we need the T-bar. There is. And it's going to go on one side of these pins like that. According to the book. And so we've got another two of these connectors. So two of those. Two, uh, two buff long pins there. And these are going to go in either side. Okay, so we've got two connectors that are going to go in here. And then those are going to go in like so. Not very sturdy yet. Close it off with another T-bar. There we go. Line up three pegs. Boom. So it kind of does have this tilt feature and stuff like that at the moment. Now it doesn't. Only when it's up. Okay. So this, then we've got. These pins here are going to go into in through here, and then this pin here is going to not. Bring it. I've done something wrong. I've done something wrong. Right. 
Now this is where the tool would not help, I don't think. Where's the tool gone? There it is. I don't think there's anything in this tool that will help with separating these pieces. No, just gonna have to brute force it. There we go. Okay, so that was correct. That is correct. So that was right, but where I put this was wrong. It goes one down. Not all the way down to the bottom because that's where the other pin will drop in. Right, so those two are lined up. There we go. Now then, now this will go in here and this black peg will go into here and hold that in place. That's pretty much it. Quite, quite chunky. Now then, what we've got next is the other side. So, two five gray, too long, two five gray, those, two ET heads, uh, there's one, and there's another, and Six black pins. We'll pull two out so far. Put this together. So we need two sevens black. I think it's black or dark bluish grey. Looks like dark bluish grey actually. Dark bluish grey. Yep, that's a seven. And is there any more on this side? No. Oh, dark bluish grey. Where are you? Oh no. I swear I've only pulled parts for one part. <laughs> There's supposed to be another one of these. And oh, I found it. I found it. Right. So we've got all the necessary parts apart from the pins. We need four more pins, but we'll build this first. So ET head, centralize the bar. Two pins on each side. He needs eyes on like that. Now we've got evil eyes. And then a pin in the middle on the other side. Like so. And then this is going to go into the five, at uh, the seven. Like that. And that's that. And then this, we need to make two of those. So more easy, poke his eyes out, uh, put the bar in first, centralize the bar. Like that. Poke his eyes out, give him some evil eyes. Turn it around, shoot him in the back of the head. 
pop these in there. Now we have two. And these are gonna go on either side at the top here. Are they just gonna rest there? Or the bars hold them in place? Like so. Pretty chunky, isn't it? Hello, Destructron. Destructor Noah. Uh, will you ever go back to playing games once in a while? I don't think so, mate. I don't think so. Honestly, I don't think so. I'm not sure. I, it's all about time, isn't it? It really is. I'm guessing this is couch, right? Is it Couch? Am I guessing wrong? Because I know his name's Noah. Two of those. Another five gray. There we go. Ah, oh, you used to build Lego all the time. It's so relaxing and fun. Yeah, I love it. I love it. This is one of the reasons why I do this. It's, it's a lot less stre stressful than games. Um... I only needed three. Yeah, yeah, it is the same person, yes. Yeah. This is the same person from when you were playing two, uh, God, uh, two years ago. Wow. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I guessed wrong on, on Couch, because I know Couch's name is Noah. So I just figured that he might have rebranded. Gamer Pro, you so you always you're always changing about as well. Gamer Pro, long time no see, dude. Yeah, no, we we do this for uh, I, I I record these videos for for YouTube. So do my um. Look, at that. Look how chunky that is. That is that is pretty chunky. It's pretty heavy as well for a rotor. It really is. Uh, same person, but he's better at Lego than playing games. This is probably true. It's probably true. But that account is long on long time. No see, mate. I appreciate you coming through, mate. How did you how did you know it was me, or did you just like? You know, guess because we've we've changed name. Obviously, we're now Brit, Brit and Bricks. So then we got two more buff pins, and these are going to go in either side here. What kind of Lego did you build then? Uh, the, uh, uh, shall I call you Gamer Pro or shall I call you Destructor or Noah? What kind of Lego did you build, uh, build, mate? All right, so this is this is a huge set, by the way. This is like huge. Uh, yeah, if you have notifications on, yeah, uh, we still get you your live regardless of your name. Oh, okay. I was just scrolling through my followers. Oh, okay, and I saw your face, and I was like, oh, who does Lego now? Let's check him out. There you go. Yep, it's a it's a more relaxed environment. That's for sure. <laughs> it really is. And I I mean uh, I'm into Lego investing as well, mate. So it's it's kind of a few things. But this is what we call James York Challenge because James York was a friend of mine from many years ago. I used to know him when I was about. I, I first met him when I was nine, and. He's a very, 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 very good friend of mine who passed away about four years ago now, five years ago. He used to build everything, custom build, Star Wars, Technic, etc. Okay, so you like mock design and stuff like that as well. I haven't really done much mocks. Um, I kind of, what I'm doing is building sets, putting them together and then selling them, you know. But this, this is different. This is a job 
for his long-term girlfriend he wants to sell uh, she wants to sell his Lego and put the stuff together and stuff like that so I'm building it for videos and um, yeah get some content out of it ooh we got these pins with grey balls on the end ooh where are you grey ball pin there you are so we want one two and he's got a ton of Technic because he was he, he was definitely a Technic fan so this is all his stuff uh yeah but not huge mocks uh my cousin used to do star wars mocks all uh, say his basement is full of mocks it's insane that's nice that's like that's a dream that's a dream basement <laughs> that is a dream basement right there all right so what want two of those no we want four of those three four there we go uh, anyways, mate, I just wanted to say hello. Uh, I have to go now. I was just talking to you, uh, talking to you back, to you back next stream. Oh, it's nice talking to you. Yes, nice talk to you. No, uh, yeah. For, well, yeah. Uh, thanks for coming along, mate. I uh, hope everything's good and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. So these are interesting. We're building four of these, so let's do that. Pop that in there. Pop that in there. And that in there. It's like ball joints. These probably are going to be for the rotor blades so that they kind of pitch, maybe. Or just adds a little bit of detail to it, I think. So these are going to go through here, like like that. Is it? I think so. Yeah, a bit like that. So we've got to do a few of those. Another one, and another one, and another one. There we go. And then we've got uh, four of these as one. Seeing ones, but I'm not seeing twos. I'll put here a two, three, four. Right. And then these are going to go holes up like so. That's going to be down. Uh, okay. Turn it the other way around. And the pin is going to go through here, push it all the way through, come on, Ow, all the way through like so. And now what I've done. Wrong. I'm not surprised. I really ain't. Supposed to be the other way. It's a very handy tool. Push the pin through. Now then, you have to grab it. There we go. So, like that. I'm sure I did it right. Maybe it was the other piece that I didn't. 
put in correct. So that goes through like that. And then this goes through like that. Yeah, that looks right. Now then, did I get the rest of them right? Yeah. So we just want. Let's put the pin halfway through first, so we don't have to hold it. Pop that in, push the pin through, and there we go. So, same again. Push the pin through a little bit, not all the way. Pop that in there, push that through, another one. And once again, Pop that in there and we're just going to use the tool to flatten that out. There we go. Save my nail. And there we go. Four of these. We've kind of ball joint. Uh, pieces on there which is kind of cool because that's kind of how the helicopters are right so these are going to sit on the ends of these pins here like so So they got this tilt and yeah that's yeah that's that's kind of cool all right what's next so we've got these two and these two so we got the shorter ones which are the ones that I keep seeing so that's these two and the longer the longer ones of the uh, same type, there's one there, and there's the other. Now these are going to go, if we look at this, where's those pins? Why am I not seeing those pins? In there they are. There they are. So these are going to go on those two pins, and that will stop the slight droop on the front if I can get them lined up. Oh my gosh. There we go. In like that. This is, this is getting quite solid. Now it's just doing the, the tilting left and right. Okay, so again. Just on that side. That went on easier. And then this goes on this one here like so back again welcome back open world how is uh how is the open world thing going by the way are you uh are you still with that i did mean to ask you that a while back actually uh so we need three three light gray things yeah i did actually yeah Oh, this is part two of the vid recording. Yeah, back and notice that you still have an awful lot of parts. I do, but have you noticed that? Yeah. Yeah, we're on part two, mate. This is part two. So that's gonna go through there. That's gonna go through there. We're on 
book two. That's going to go through there. And that is going to go through there. Solid. This is this is no messing. This is. Oh, we're almost close to locating it. Cool. Cool. Right. Now then, we need a uh, five axle. No, too long. Five axle. We need two of those. So that's two five axles. We need two bangers, light grey. Two bangers, there's one. And there's two. The difference with these, they're not just both holes. There's one cross and one hole. Four grey sleeves. So two, three, four. Uh, two more of those long pieces that we were just using. So it's one and two. Uh, four pins with balls on the ends. Much like the grey ones, except for the grey ones had axles on the ends, these have just pins. So there's four of those. Uh, and, and two of the smaller ones. So it's two. There we go. Two. Right. Was this? Uh, it's been twenty-four hours. You missed it. <laughs> uh, look, he even changed his shirt. Oh, there you go. Don't give away the secrets, the trade secrets. So these going to go in the small ones. Uh, to be honest, I'm finding it hard to stream. Okay, I think college work has sort of driven me crazy and I can't be bothered to go home and game with people watching me. Okay, well, uh, I just wanna chill and watch Netflix or game by myself without having to half focus because I uh, have to focus on the chat too. Yeah, I know, I get you, I get you. Uh, if that makes any sense to you, I, I don't, yes it does. Yes, it makes perfect sense, mate, perfect sense. And then that. So we got the small one, the long one. Then we got another sleeve. And then we cap it off with another small one with a grey. And we're doing two of those. And the ball, there's two. There's one that goes in here. And then there's one that goes in here. Uh, screaming is not for everyone, it works uh, or it does not. The main thing, you give it a go, yeah. Are you even changed the shirt? Oh dear, what? Yeah, this is a different day, different video. I don't sleep in my shirt. Don't sleep in clothes. Don't do that, kids. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Everybody does. I used to. Especially on a night out. Ilanin, hello, how you doing, mate? I trust you are well. Right, now we've got these, these funny axle tie things here. And I don't think I've picked those out because we've got some here. So we've got four of these. Oh gosh, that's a, a longer one. Okay, I was unaware that there was sizes. I thought they were all same size. Oh, uh, yep, you're great, cool. I uh, didn't think you'd still be streaming, really? No, we're doing this. Um, it's three part, we're on second part of this helicopter. So you see this? Look at the size of this thing. And that is the rotor. Yeah. <laughs> wow, yes. <laughs> it is pretty big. It is pretty big. All right, so where does this go? Um seeing anything obvious yet. 
I am seeing. I mean, these go somewhere, right? These do go somewhere. Oh, I see they go on the bottom. I see them. I see them. Right, so they're gonna go on these on these bottom pins here. See that? And they are going to be that way. Both of them. This is a very complicated rotor. That is for sure. There's a lot of detail in this. And I would think you would reverse it, right? I would think you would reverse it. There it goes, like that. There you go. So we've got the ball joints here, 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 here. So this is going to be like on this lot. And you can see that kind of moves up and down at the moment. So uh, what is that? I find it weird that two parts are back. Two parts at back of heli uh, are different colors on each side. The two. No, they're the same color. They're all the same color. They're both black. Oh, you mean these parts? The red and the yellow. Yeah, I'm, I'm finding that interesting myself. If that's what you're thinking of. The hinge parts on the side is black. The other is gray. Oh, hang on a minute. What? Are you talking about on this piece? Or are you talking about on this piece? One's red, one's yellow, yeah. One's red, one's yellow. Main body, okay, main body. Are you talking about these pieces here? This one here and this one here? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in that as well. Uh, I think it's like inside working, so it doesn't really matter too much about what color it is or anything. Right, so we're going to attach these balls. So. Get this right. See, it even has that authentic. Like a lot of helicopters do when it turns the blades. That's really cool. Like that. So. Pop that one on, and that one on, and that one on, and that one on, and last but not least, that one on, and that one on. There we go. See, look at that. That is really cool. See that? It twists the blades. That, that is pretty darn cool. Right. <clears throat> now we get this. And we pop this. Into. This sleeve here. If I can. Because it's. It's having to get that sleeve to line up. There we go. Got it. Damn. Damn. Look how high that is off the body. I mean, that's that's insane, isn't it? Don't you think that's a little bit extreme? Maybe. I think I think that might be a bit too big for the. Um... <laughs> yeah. 
I think I might be a bit too big for that. Look at this. See that? It's actually moving it. That's cool. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. I think I think it's quite extreme, to be honest with you. I do think it's a kind of extreme. Right. Anyway. It's not getting locked in place. Uh push that down. Okay. Something wrong with those levers there. Maybe if I take them off, turn them around, that might. We'll see, we'll see. So, the next part is fixing it in place with two pins and they're gonna go in the back here and here. So two long blue pins and pop it in. And don't, there you go. And that is now secure. Technic. Right. Next thing is the winch. Now, the only thing that we are missing is the hook. I have seen the hook and it's where it shouldn't be so and I didn't think anything of it because I didn't think I needed a hook until I started building this and I was like oh I need a hook so we want the 13 black I think it is yes yeah, 13 black then the hinged arm thing want those that is going to go in the third hole. Like that. And then we have one of these is going to go. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. It's all right, it's all good, it's all good, in the hood. So let's go in then. This goes through there and gives that bar there. That's what I was looking for. And then this goes on the end. Okay, and then we have a five axle there and a gray pin with a collar and again axle's going to go in the pin always and then this is going to go one two three four five one two three four five and it's going to go that way I like that now we have the reel. So the reel is in one of these. It still has the original string that was attached to it. Uh, like I say, don't have the hook. The hook is here. 
It's just that I don't have it around at the moment. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna pretend that we got a hook, and that's gonna go on there, and then the string. String is gonna drop through. It's gonna drop through that hoop there. Just give it a bit more slack. So we got a little bit. Great. Okay. Is that how it's supposed to be? Other way. So that the, the string's running over the top. Like that. Now then, might pop up pop off again. No, it's not. Because we're going to secure it with a sleeve. Now it won't fall off like that and then there's going to be a connector extension bar on there like so so now okay cool and that is that for the hook now that this is going to go across the helicopter and can't see what it's going to connect to just yet. You can see that there's there's going to be a rod. See that there's a big gap between the connector there and nothing. So I pop that in there. There will be. I'm guessing there'll be like uh, an uh, axle going through there to um, secure it at some point. So pop that down there and pardon me, uh, light, no, dark bluish gray, one of those and pin with stopper one of those and a black peg <clears throat> so we've got a black peg pin with stopper is going to go in here it's going to be quite loose so I'm not going to worry too much about it and then two holes and then the peg in there like that then we have a four by two one and a two banger Two banger. This is probably the last two banger actually. So that there. Right. Now this is gonna go on there like that. Still loose. And this is gonna go on there like that. Okay. Now then we have another one of those gear things and we've got some tan connectors right there's the tan connector and we need the gear thing again oh wait a minute which draw oh yeah it was in in over here wasn't it it was over here So this is going to sit on the end like so and then this 
this is going to fit over the end like that. Interestingly enough, uh, and then we have a tan pin with axle. So it's tan pin and a light grey gear. Do one of these. So the axle is going to go in the back of the gear, and then the pin is going to go in that there. See that? At the moment, it's not secure. You can see it's quite revolving, but what you see is it's changing the speed of it so that makes that gray gear that dark gray gear move a hell of a lot faster than what that light gray gear is now then we got blue peg with axle And that's going to go in the top here, like that. And then it's going to have a sleeve over the top. I'm guessing so it keeps it level, like that. So now it it can move, but it it's got a, a stopping point. So it could be this revolves. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Right, then we got uh, four dark gray. It's gonna go through second hole like that. And, a, oh, okay. So then we got the tan sleeve, the second one. And there's only two in this set. There's only two. Was this uh, got a lot of watching streams whilst in bed with a hot chocolate, uh, cream of marshmallows with a bag of squishies. Ooh, love it, love it. Marshmallows melted in hot chocolate. Yum. There we go. That's what we want. Yeah, a lot of people used to do like yeah, watch my streams in you know as they they're going to bed. Uh, oh, another one I start. Gray gear. I should have, yeah. I should have picked these out. I should have picked these out. There's a tray in here, so I pull the tray out. There we go. So that has to keep getting that like that. Pop that on there. We're only using black pegs. We're using pegs with axles. We got uh, those, so we can pop those over there. Get the next dark bluish grey gear, and pushing it in this way. And then we got this this funny little turbine looking thing. Well, this could be used as a rear of uh, an engine or something, but in this case, it is going over this and it kind of locks in the rotation due to the inside. So is that like a clutch? Is that what a clutch is, uh, Nocti? <laughs> you gonna get a hot chocolate? Nice one, Alanin. Uh, what you do in your own time is not for public knowledge. <laughs> Is, is that, are you talking about, like, are you talking to Open World about that? I won't fall asleep, I don't think I'm too engrossed. No, I'm too engrossed, okay. Yeah, it looks like it, it looks like a clutch. Right. That's what I was thinking. And then it's going to get capped off with another one of those, so two of those. There's only two of these in the set, 
And you know what? They were so hard to find. They really were. Right. Anyway, that is done. Now we got two of these red pieces here. So here's one. And here's the second one. And these identical, so it doesn't matter which way they go. And they go over the top of these. Really? They do? Uh, they do. Look at that. All right. There we go. Yeah, all I saw was bed, chocolate, marshmallow. <laughs> That's cool. You saw the keywords. Turn the page. And now we have uh, two pins, long tan axles on both ends, and then this smooth shaft along the middle of it. So if you see that, it's where like a wheel can roll. They were the only key parts to the, that message. They were. That's what. That's why they're called keywords, aren't they? That's why ever rocks your boat. All right. So then we got these dark grey gears again. Okay. And they're facing the other way this time. Okay. And then we've got light gray gears. I'm gonna be I'm interested in finding out how this actually all comes about. I don't know if you guys I kind of got an idea of, of what's going on here. But um I don't. Oh, I see. That slips across. Okay. I'm seeing something here. I'm seeing something. These, these slip across to engage either gear. Hmm. The viewers of the video are going to wonder. Yes, they probably are. <laughs> They probably are because this is going getting half the message. No, too long. Uh, what about this one? Yes. And five gray. One. Yep. And a puffy gear black. Another light gray gear. Uh, Sean is building Lego. Yeah, he is. Uh, and the chat is on bedtime antics, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we are human, folks. We are human. We've got to sleep sometimes. So, yeah, these usually always have your Technic axles in for some reason or another to extend. Or, yeah, I guess it's really just to tailor the size, isn't it, really? It's just to tailor the size. Then the gear, grey gear, is going to slip on the end of the black piece, the black axle. Then this is going to go through here. And so it... Oh, that's like acting as a brake. You see that? As soon as it goes up high enough, it lifts up and it stops this turning. Bring it down and it stops. See that? Right, see it? It's like winding something in, isn't it? Like the hook, probably. Chris the Milkman, what's up my dude? What is up? You been out on your bike today? I mean, it's quite obvious who you are. Our new setup looks good, mate. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, um, this is the table I got from Ikea. Uh, 
couple of weeks ago now and I sold all my record collection my vinyl collection and I made quite a bit back so I bought this and a few other bits and pieces I bought this because it's got the top-down camera thing so it works really well uh, yeah but I'm not uh, not the one sleeping with a marshmallow well yeah <laughs> like open world says you should try it maybe you should I, I've never done it myself personally so I don't know this is huge dude no playing oh population again okay see the size of this thing look at it all right look at that you see the size of the rotor this is huge absolutely huge right anyway this is going to go into the back end here and these gears are going to run on this that's what's going on here no it can't be better than that it cannot be better than that I mean, it, yeah, I guess it is if you haven't experienced it or you're not experiencing it. But for the most part, I would say no. All right, so that brake is not going to act as a brake anymore because it's getting secured in by this blue pin. I think no, it's actually it still acts it still acts as a brake. See that? It still comes up. So we're still getting that. Oh, check that shit out. Excuse my French. Check that out. All right, so we got this one going on. And then we got the brakes. Oh, hang on a minute. I wonder why that's not working anymore. Oh, it's doing the winch. It's doing the winch. My bad. See the cog on there? That's doing the winch. Okay. So what was doing this? Oh, it was this. It was this. So we got that brake working. Look. And then there. That's crazy. It, it, this is so cool. This is PG Channel Sin. Uh, what would viewers think? Yeah, I know. I still have to work. I have to. I have to really be careful. Uh, it depends on who with, right? Uh, that's huge. Well, that's what she said. Well, you know, when she sees the Lego set, she is going to say that's huge. She's not lying. She's going to be, oh my God, Sean, look at the size of this Lego helicopter. This is crazy. Let's move on. Uh, eight axle. We got one of those. Uh, Gray five. We got one of those. We got the Technic connector there, and we got another gray gear. We got to run out of gray gears, and it looks like we're doing the same thing. So Technic axles in there. Gray gear on the black axle again. No. Yep. Is it? Yes. Goes on the uh, side of the sleeve. Then this is get capped off with a grey sleeve. Yeah, what viewers? <laughs> right? Exactly. What viewers? What are we talking about? And this is going to go into that pa uh, that place where I was saying that there's going to be an axle going in there at some point, and it's going to do the winch part. Okay. So. there we go right so now it's now it's attached to these gears here as opposed to these gears here so what happens now absolutely no movement okay so there must be something so that's a rotor still but it's not clutch this is clutch. That's operating the winch, but at a very slow rate. So I'm not quite sure what the DDO is with that yet. These are supposed to touch that. Oh, 
okay so we got gears slide is slipping in between these here so there's this so there's going to be there's going to be a so yeah there's going to be some sort of clutch thing going on here isn't there see now that does that slip it over there and it does yeah this is going to be interesting this is going to be interesting stop figuring it out right so we got a five by three light gray five by three light gray last one last five by three light gray let's hear it for the last five by three light gray now this is going to go uh so it's one what is it uh it, it's one of those here is your run across your desk everything moves and takes your arm off with the rotor blades no oh man if it was if it was rc it might just do that don't you think it would probably do that if it was rc okay so that goes across like that and now it's kind of secured all three axles trip to a and e tomorrow yeah yeah uh i think how did you injure yourself i was playing with plastic <laughs> uh whoop whoop for the last gray yep there you go we got a, we got a whoop whoop for the last gray five by three uh, we call it five by three chris because it's got holes in here five across and three down so there you go uh, everybody say hello to Chris the Milkman, by the way. He's uh, one of my colleagues. He's actually trained me up in his area because it's his area that I'm taking over a little bit of. So, yeah, everybody say hello to him. Uh, come on, make it more real. Uh, yeah, Hallie took my arms off. Yeah, how are you going to explain that exactly? <laughs> oh, Hallie took your arms off. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. So two grey gears. We've got more grey gears. This thing's got more gears than anything. Right. So this is going to go kind of what well, looks like not even quarter the way down. And then it's going to go. It's going to go. could go here I think so it's no oh other way other way other way so it attaches itself to the, the brake and stuff see that it's kind of gear slipping quite sure why it's gear slipping is it because it's not quite secure I mean that looks pretty flimsy for a, a rotor gear to be honest it's made it a lot more flimsier I don't know so it's not even spinning the rotors Uh, I'm so sorry for you, sir. You have my heartfelt thoughts of training, Sean. Well, <laughs> uh, we, uh, we we we've had some we've had some pretty good times though. It's been fun. It's been fun. Good conversations, anyway. Works work. You know, you just you don't have too much fun at work. All right. So now that's got like really solid. It makes the gears. See, if there was something that's going to go across here and hold these axles, that'd be cool. Oh, uh, well, darling, you, you're going to have to watch five hours of my vid to see the injury happen. Oh, yeah. Is it, no, it would be like right at the beginning. <laughs> I cut myself open in the box of Lego. Because the rotor came out and just sliced my arm 
right some more of these clutch gears get through these and these are going on these two here there's so many gears to this thing and here all right so now now we've got the gears going all the way across you see that there's there's more gears in here than a clock now it really is it's got everything's gonna spin and shit now isn't it no nothing's going to spin and shit because we need something to go across to hold it all in do not let him okay so yeah not to he, he's on his own tomorrow yes i am uh all i hope has been sorted on the handset so no more no more crap doors for me oh i get them all I get them all. Aren't you going to be happy till you get Scumpop? Then, then you'll be interesting. Yeah. You be like, can I have my run back, Sean? And they're like, <laughs> they took it off me. Right. So five of no three of these grey five star gears one dark bluish gray um, axles two light gray connectors yet another gear puffy moon gear type thing four three by three L shapes two three and four and i think that's the last for the the uh three by three moon shape so let's 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 hear the hype for the three by three like l shapes never mind uh one connector and six black star uh, black pins well i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave the black pins in here i'll take a couple whoop whoop yeah there you go that's what we're talking about now you know the the the, the three by three l shapes now they they feel appreciated so thank you open world the hype uh was that too much excitement no that was perfect that was perfect they're still bore they, yeah they're still holding their shape they're not falling apart they yeah you'd be good right so six blue pins with axles so we got again i will pick these out so it's three four five six big up for the three by three there you go now you're talking now you might make them feel too homey-ish you know Big up to the three by three. That actually sounds kind of cool, doesn't it? Big up to the three by three. The three by three massive. Right. L shape. Axles are going to go into the cross sections. Like so. Like that. And then we go put the other. L shape on top like that. It's the last three by three. We knew them all well. Yep, uh, they they stood up tall, but now we say rest in peace. Uh, the six by six massive compared to the three by three massive. I do you know what? I have no six by six massives. I don't. So. I don't know. Is a six by three, six by six? Is this is six by six bigger, or is it just a myth? Because I'm not seeing the six by six. Right. So this is going to go on the end of this dark bluish grey, and then we're going to do the same 
with these guys over here. DJ can't count, it will be three by three equals two. <laughs> Maybe? Uh then he's gotta have like a black pin in it, isn't it? Yes. So black pin in there. Nocti, quick math. Quick math, Nocti. Oh, your head is blown. Oh, okay, don't say that. Uh, DJ will start a new band called the 3 by 3 Yep, yeah, don't know if DJs would start a band as such. Don't, don't think so. Oh, your head is blown. Your head blown because of, like, um... Uh, like you've had like loads of beer or something, or what's what's up with that, Chris? Is it is it the six by six and the three by three massive? Is that is that what's got you? Or is it mathematics that's got you? Because that's, that's got me. Right. So that's that, and that's this piece here that we just built. So up here we have the pin with the stopper going through and then the gear is going on the end oh we love bedtime ah, okay bedtime lol that's why and the maths okay there you go bedtime dude i'm up for another what five hours with marshmallows yes with marshmallows not tea <laughs> And the three by three massive. There we go. We got some eyeglasses. Oh yeah, and chocolate. Yep, yep. And then we got the blue pins axle in like so. So we got that, and then this is going to tag in on these two black pins here ah so that night everyone all right ladies chris thanks for popping by mate and i hope you're looking forward to a nice easy day tomorrow because that's what i'm gonna get see i'm smiling right now but i'll be like i'll be chewing at the bit tomorrow totally chewing at the bit right so up like that then this goes across it does not it does not we have to have two of these there you go that goes across like that Chris uh, forgive us myself and Sean go back over four years yes we do uh, not to no problem. Lol, I have to work with him. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, you know, you only have to. You don't really have to work with me so much now. You you just like have to see me for about half an hour, forty minutes, and then, and then you can get away. So two black pins are going in here. Why aren't you going in there? Oh, yes, because you're two plates, aren't you? Got to line it up. So, two black pins in here. Likewise, me and Sean go back. Eight, yeah, we go back quite a bit now, but um, open world. We do, we do. Now then. Then the black piece is going to go over this. Okay. Hey, it's eight months. Jeez. And then the sleeve on there, because there's going to be a uh, axle probably plugged into it, I think. Anyway, 
so that's that that's that that's what it should look like and then this is going to add more to the back end so this is going to be like <clears throat> huge in like it's going to be a very complicated back end isn't it there we go it just pops on like that a big up to the assassin's creed odyssey was it like well yeah so but thing is uh, uh dj's not playing that anymore at the moment he's a little bit burnt out one that's a pretty large gear i'm thinking like one of these that's what i'm thinking is one of them and that's going to sit on the end here like that a lone gear in the world of gearness look at all these gears this is crazy the whole back end of the helicopter is formed by gears uh what's this oh how come uh, how come is everything all right with him um yeah no he seems to be okay i'm not i'm not sure i'm not sure i haven't really heard too much from him to be honest with you but yeah he he's he says he's not feeling it at the moment so he did pop in for a, a short while to say hello and that he's probably still here actually you never know and gray pins there and two gray pins with collars there two blue long pins there so light grew light bluish gray these pins are going to go in there and there like that and then and then the blue pins are going to go in each end here like that and then oh we got those alien faces things there so these are gonna go in there i love that i love that satisfying snap like that and then this will have some axle pins going in the back of these so blue small axle pins and the axle part is going to go in there in the cross section like that and then the black piece is going to go on top like that okay so this is this piece here two black pins um are gonna go in here uh three holes from each side one two three so one there and then a space and one so it's like that I, I bet you can't wait to take uh, this apart so that your friend can sell the sets. Uh, yeah, I mean, I need to get, you know, it, it's kind of sad doing it because it's it's a it's friend, uh, friend's Lego. Um, I'm only glad that I'm not selling it, not the one that's selling it. I don't think I could do it. Um, and, uh, yeah, when I first was told or asked, if I could do this, uh, I wanted to buy all his Lego straight away. And I asked Kat, and she said, no, we we need to watch the money. So I was like, okay, well, yeah, I understand that. Okay, so what we got here is something missing here. Or is that... something missing here let's 
understand this. I'm seeing this because that's that part there. Uh, have we built this wrong? Okay. seeing that piece there oh don't do that don't do that gears no there should be two black pins on the end there that first piece that we built yeah well spotted Sean well spotted all right so that goes in there and that goes in there oh yeah stop smoking for a couple of weeks oof yeah that's a big oof Late night, Britain Bricks. Yeah, we are. We, we, yeah, we're we're recording this, building the biggest set that I've ever done. That is for sure. Um, oh no, I just picked it up completely wrong, and everything <laughs> fell apart. It's okay. It's okay. I know how it all goes. Oh, hang on a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get this. Get the clutches right. Need the clutches right now then that goes in there so this is still a little bit flimsy it's, it's all held by one gear at the moment that black gear <laughs> rifle be what what's that maf am i am i not supposed to repeat that okay then this is gonna fit in the back here and that should hold everything in place no the gears <laughs> no the gears stop it stop it stop it anything about dj is not right uh which in turn uh, means everything's right. Yeah, no, this is true. This is true. This is true. This is true. So we don't need to worry about DJ. He's all good. He's all good. He's all good. I'm going to try and compress it from a different area. It's not going. Why is it not going? I don't want to push against the gears. That's the thing. Aha! One home. You know he's he's probably going to expect some sort of comment like that from you, Nocti. Oh, come on. Be nice. It's not being nice, is it? It's not being nice. Do not lose that gear again, otherwise I'm going to cry. Right. Say to yourself, young pin. There you go. Ooh. Mean, nice. Oh, look, shit. So, so I didn't mean to say that. But, yeah, I guess it's not like all uh, still held together very well. There you go. 
So we still got to be very careful with it. I thought that uh, I thought that uh, it was quite stable now, but I guess not. <laughs> Me? Nice. Come on. I don't go that far. Why is this DJ? Come on, you got to make him. Yeah, DJ special. DJ is special. Right. So, done that. Next part is no, too long, <clears throat> too short, too long. Oh, is that it? Too short. What? What? Got it. Oh god, I gotta find two of them. There we go. There's the other one. That's the last of those as well, by the things. So, two light grey connectors. No, actually, we need four of those. So, one, two, three, four. So, it's four of those. And the red pins we need two of to join the connectors together. Like. So, and then we got the axles, we've got a five and a three. So this is a five and we need, how many fives? Two. So there's two fives and we need two threes. So it's two threes and they're gonna go in one on each side. And for the picture's sake, the three is in this side, five's in this side. Then we got two black pins, so we need four black pins because there's four black pins in total. Like that. And they're gonna go in the holes here. Let's go for two pins in here. Like that. Can you not pay the woman in installment? Yeah, you know, it, I think it's also the fact that it's space. But I, I, I do. I would love to have uh, my friend's Lego. I would. We used to do um, Lego construction oh, in the eighties in his little shed that was inside his house. It was, it was quite cool. We had a shed that was attached to the kitchen inside the house. It was really cool. Uh, miss something, you're paying 10 a week for a woman. <laughs> no, no, Noxy. <laughs> no. Oh dear, oh dear. Open world might, but no, I don't need to. I don't need to. So we want a yellow periscope 